so today's video is about search before we go for simplifying search we should know what are search so let's see all these numbers under root some are square root some are cube root so let's say 9 if it's a perfect square number so square root of 9 will be 3 because 3 times 3 is 9 and so that we can solve it so this is not a third this one is not a perfect square number the answer will be uh, five four point something it will be a decimal number so this one is a third this one is not a third answer is six this one is a third this one is not a third cube root of 27 is 3 cube root of 16 uh, because it's not a perfect cube number so this is a third okay now let's see how can we simplify search so if you are good with prime factorization the search are very easy for you you can watch another video to learn prime factorization so let's see first question is uh, square root 18 let's do the factorization of 18 always start with 2 I always start with 2 usually because it's a prime number easy to divide uh, even numbers 2 times 9 is 18 2 is our prime number, continue with 9, 3 times 3 is 9, I got all the primes, so it is going to be 2 times 3 times 3. Whenever you see a group of common multiples, this number from a group of 3, a 3 will go out of the root sign, so it will be something like this, out of a group of 3, 1, 3 will go out, and what's left inside is a 2. Let's see the second one. 50. We have to find the prime factors of 50. So it's 2 times 25, and 25 is 5 times 5. They all are prime, so it's 2, 5, 5. So it will look something like this. Sorry. So I can again see a group of 5, so 1, 5 will go out and what's left inside is 2. Let's see, the next one is 132, let's do it here. So this one is 2 times 66, 2 times 33, 3 times 11, and 11 is prime, 3 is prime, 2 is prime, 2 is prime. So it's going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 11. And I can see a group of 2. So 1, 2 will go outside. It will look like this. Inside is 3 times 11. Yeah, and inside is 33. Let's do this one. The root is only on 60 in question number 4. So let's find the prime factors for 60. It will be 2 times 30. 2 times 15 and 3 times 5. So it is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. I can see a group of 2. So this will go out. Inside we have a 2 already. So it's 2 root 3 times 5 is 15. What's left inside? And we have a 2 below. So 2 divided by 2 because in fraction means division. 2 divided by 2 we can simplify it. 2 times 1, 2 times 1. So what's left is just root 15. And then the last example, 96. Let's do the prime factorization of 96. 96 will be 2 times 40, 48. Uh, 48 will be 2 times 24, 2 times 12, 2 times 6, and 2 times 3. So it's a 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and a 3. So it's going to be like this. So here I can see a group of 2, 1, 2 is out. Another group of 2, 1 more 2 is out. And then 2 times 3 is inside, yeah, 6 is inside. And there is a 6 below. So it's 2 times 2 is 4, root 6. Over 6, we can simplify 2 times 2, 2 times 3, so it's 2 root 6 over 3. For any questions, you can write in comments. I hope you understood this.